pigeot, pijo, puju, pujo, or whatever we know them as in Nigeria. But what do you think is the correct pronunciation? Let me know in the comment section below. That aside, just in case you don't know, the Pujo Falsis will be 28 year old this year since it was first introduced in 1995. But it's still inevitably one of the best 30 year old cars still available on the road right now, especially in the northern Nigeria compared to these guys. Do you agree? Today, I'll be sharing with you why the Pujo 406 is still worth buying in 2023. I'm Olua and without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. The question still remains, why would I suggest you buy a 30-year-old car in 2023? 1. Design and train. Honestly, the Pujo Falsis design can easily be blended on with modern cars on the road today with the thin headlamps and cross laid tail lamps that really look ahead of the time when it was first released. The French car is available as a sedan, a state, and a coupe body style. The Pujo Falsis stylist combined a classy style with elements of modern design and a beautiful and elegant car turned out. Smooth line, expressive recognized design, dynamic silhouette, powerful low trimmed front part of the body, and a generally beautiful car, which makes this worth buying if you are in the market for a budget sedan. 2. Reliability and engine power. The Falsis has different four cylinder engines and a versus engine option, petrol and diesel. They are all paired to either a five speed manual or four speed automatic transmission, of which both the engine and transmission are unkillable. It could run for as long as possible. These things are almost 30 years old and are still going strong on the Nigerian road. You should understand what I mean. 3. Ride quality and handling. This is obviously the most important factor that makes Nigerians consider this car a great people's car. It drives so real good, with rare fully independent suspension, spring loaded multi links, with passive steering, and with progressive driving characteristics. This is considered one of the best cars for long travels in Nigeria. It is super stable at high speed, spacious, comfortable, and ergonomic interior is ready to take up to 5 people with leather seating and a very condensed layout. Four, Cheap maintainers and running costs. Talking about maintenance, the 406 is a very cheap car to maintain. It all depends on usage and car condition. Trust me, the 406 can be the cheapest car to run and maintain, and could also be otherwise. My advice buy a foreign used 406 or a well maintained Nigerian used example. If not, you are on your own. 5. Equipment. The 406 obviously is ergonomically outdated. When it comes to equipment, it comes with a really outdated PZL gauge and center cluster, but it's not that far behind. Basic equipment still includes power steering, central locking with remote control, immobilizer, onboard computer, front and rear power windows, climate control, fog lamps, heated front seats, audio systems, exterior mirror with electric drive and heated, rain sensor and alloy wicks. It's a really well equipped car for its age and class. Pujo cars are not exactly the best when it comes to reliability here in Nigeria. In fact, Pujo cars are plagued with mind boggling issues, issues that can drive you nuts. The Falsies is also not an exemption to these issues. You will definitely get them show up, but how often depends on the kind of car you decide to buy. I mean, the condition of the car you decide to buy. Feel free to leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have an experience with the 406, feel free to share with us as well. Like and share the video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Ciao.